Uh, my name is Patricia Olenek and we are here at the Bruno David Gallery in St. Louis, Missouri. I am the director of the Graduate School of Art at Washington University in St. Louis. I'm also the Florence and Frank Bush Professor of Art and uh, was born in the Midwest in Canada. And this was something that really interested me in hosting uh, the Inland Symposium Central Standard Time Symposium here at Washington University in St. Louis. My co-organizer for this symposium is Paul Kranick from Bradley University who founded the Inland Visual Studies Center that is a center that looks at cultural production in the Midwest, not only uh, thinking but also making in the Midwest and focuses on this notion that uh, making in the Midwest can't possibly be one thing because the Midwest isn't a monoculture. So if we think about it from that perspective and we think about the complexity of what happens in the Midwest and we understand that we're not simply the consumers of culture but we are the generators of culture, uh, this gives us a lot of material to work with in terms of hosting a number of different symposia. The Inland Symposiums have been uh, occurring for several years now. Um, they are a series of floating symposiums. They float from university to universities. And our focus is Central Standard Time. It's a little bit of a riff on Pacific Standard Time. I had had several conversations with friends from the West Coast who said that it was about time that artists on the West Coast had gotten their due recognition, so uh, CST is a little bit of a riff on that. And uh, we will be focusing on uh, culture here uh, in St. Louis and all of the different regional criteria that affect cultural production here. And we will be inviting different speakers from all parts of the Midwest to participate in the conference, including two keynote addresses, Barbara Jaffe, who authored the History of the New Art Examiner and also Stephanie Smith from the Smart Museum at the University of Chicago. I think that the Midwest is a place where one naturally looks outward and naturally draws the connections between the local and the global. So it's from this perspective that I wanted to think about place discourse uh, showing in the Midwest and also producing artwork in the Midwest. I'm Buzz Spector and uh... I'm an artist and a critical writer, um, a sometime poet, and uh, a full-time uh, dean and, and professor at uh, the Sam Fox School of Design and Visual Arts at Washington University in St. Louis. I'm interested in the Inland Symposium because uh, uh, the very notion of a Midwest-oriented uh, critical and intellectual gathering uh, that describes itself in terms of a distance from, shall we say, an absent coast uh, is part of what it is to be an intellectual or a critical thinker in the Midwest. We're, we're inland because we see culture in this country being exported from the coasts towards the center. And yet it would be a subtle mid misrepresentation of the Midwest to call it the center of the country when in fact the most typical Midwestern feeling is one of being on the margins. Patricia Olenek was, uh, was talking about uh, uh, how diverse Midwestern culture is. She used the term monoculture and I love that because uh, 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 from elsewhere uh, the Midwest looks a lot like monoculture, right? Uh, all those hundreds of, of miles of sunflower fields in Kansas and cornfields in Iowa and Illinois and and the more fragrant hundred miles of the big pig farms or, or cattle farms elsewhere in the Midwest. Uh, and then, of course, airplane geometry, and the sense of a checkerboard that, that uh, bi-coastal travelers encounter when they think they're looking at the Midwest from an altitude of 30,000 feet. It's, it's at the ground level that Midwesternness becomes something complex and poetic about how the center is regarded from an edge, an edge that has its own powers of observation and conclusion. We think the Inland Symposium is an opportunity not simply to celebrate the diverse creative practices here, but to reflect on 
how meaningful the site of those practices is in generating their aspirations, their technical solutions, their realizations in one art or another. Though the, the symposium tends to focus more on writing and visual art, uh, there's creative space for all the arts to be represented and the conversations through the years have been very diverse, have brought lots of people from lots of mediums uh, in to have their say about uh, how the locale has framed the, the perfection of their craft. Now, I had the chance to, to give a talk at uh, the Inland Symposium uh, last year, and uh, my remarks uh, were under the title, Postcards from the Provinces. And I talked about uh, the story from Kafka, a poor countryman uh, as far from the empire as could be imagined, uh, who waits to hear from a royal courier who is bringing a message just for him from the emperor. And the courier accepts the message and battles his way through the throngs surrounding the throne uh, to get to the vast door that opens up into the first inner courtyard of the palace and then presses through another throng and through another door which takes him only to the second interior courtyard of the palace. And as Kafka stretches out the story, you, the reader, become ever more aware that uh, this fellow out in the hinterlands will wait forever for that messenger to arrive. And this is the fear that artists and intellectuals deal with at their work in our region. But it's not a real fear anymore in an age of, of digital culture and electronic imagery and above all else, an age in which the passion, the craving for great ideas uh, knows no geographical boundary.